Hi guys, pop pop boat time. I spotted this tin of anchovies. It's a very small tin. I wondered whether we could make it into a pop pop boat. I've got this little uh, lid off of a, a jam was in it. Strawberry jam, I think, this one. I've just filed the paint off the bottom of it. So I'm going to solder that. I've got a little bit of brass tubing. I'm going to go for a single tube. Just to be awkward. Because people like to see them and ask me why they work. And somewhere in this pile, I've got a little bit of this tin plate left. It's not aluminium, it's tin plate off of an old Pepsi Max can. It's got quite a few rusty spots in it, which will be no good. But I might have just enough space. to get that on there. So we'll give it a try and then solder that onto there. Put one hole in it so we can get that in there. I had an idea about how to fill it because it's very difficult to fill it with just a single pipe in it. And I wondered if I could slowly fill it by pumping it like that. If I hold it under water, squeeze it to push some air out, let it go to let the water come in, squeeze it, let it go. I just wondered if that might allow the water to go in it, so I'm going to give that a try. The other alternative is, alternative is you push some very thin pipe all the way through, so you can squirt water in and the air can still get out. Or I'll have to drill a second hole in it and make it two pipes. But I just fancy having a go with one pipe. I um, soldered an extra little strip of metal on there. So that when we slide it on there, it holds in place. So the next thing we want to do is a float test. a little bit down at the front. We have to add a little bit of weight at the back because we're going to add that in there, aren't we? Right. A bit close to the water line there. Especially when we're going to add some water in there. Get a little bit more weight to go in the back. Right, the other thing was my bright idea of how to fill it. I'm going to squeeze it and hopefully that'll push the air out. Uh, let's zoom in a bit. Squeeze it, air out, squeeze it, air out. So I think We've certainly got some water in there. But will that now sink? <laughs> it's got extra weight. Whoa. Right on the borderline. I think I'm pushing my luck here. Let's move that tea mic back a little bit. Take a little bit of that weight out. Yeah, I think I'm pushing me luck here. We're right on the water line. Still, let's see what happens. It can only sink. Let me 
blowing lots of bubbles out the back. Oh, got a leak. Oh, curses. Well, I say my poor soldering, but obviously that's exactly where the flame is. So it may well have leaked, uh, melted it. Maybe I should have had the tea light forwards a little bit more so it wasn't going directly onto the solder. Nice clean bit of solder there where the leak was. Oh. Need the water in there again, don't I? In quite a few of my videos I have mentioned the soot you get on there gets everywhere that soot best thing to do is clean it off as quickly as possible As you can see, I'm getting it over me blue tack and everything. I'll wash my hands. Try again. I don't think I've got enough water in there. It's going now.
that's going in close before it fails. Right, we're not going to get any more out of this tonight because it's sprung another leak. I think what happens is I'm running it too dry so it does actually overheat and the solder melts. So I could resolder it or I could just accept that that's not a very good design. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.